Messy Church! Hi there everybody and welcome to our fourth Messy Church. Thank you so much for all the pictures and all the likes and all the views. We super duper 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 appreciate it. Thank you so much again. Today we're focusing on Romans chapter 3, so I hope you enjoy. I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll be super duper fun. Enjoy! <laughs> Given to you, seek, and you will find. Knock, knock, and the door will be open to you. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, knock, and the door will be open to you. So the reading is taken from Romans chapter 3, beginning to read at verse 21. Righteousness through faith. But now a righteousness from God, apart from law, has been made known, to which the law and the prophets testify. This righteousness from God comes through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. God presented him as a sacrifice of atonement through faith in his blood. He did this to demonstrate his justice because in his forbearance he had left the sins committed beforehand unpunished. Romans 3, 23 and 24.
time for the craft. This week's craft is going to be really messy, so get prepared. What you're going to need for this craft is some card or paper, a ruler, scissors, a pencil, some paint or some markers, as I know some of you may not have some paint. So the first thing you're going to do is draw an outline of your cross, which it has to be really fat, so because you're going to need a lot, you, you know, you need a lot of space for what you're going to do. So make sure it's really fat or big or whatever you want to call it. And so like this, it doesn't have to be perfect, so in the middle you can have some lines maybe, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is paint, get your finger and dab it in the paint and you're going to do loads of dots. So I know most of you have done finger painting, maybe when you were younger or maybe you, you did a lot before or, or maybe and you just keep painting. Like this, I'll come to you when it's done. Okay guys, now it's dry. It might take a little while longer. For instance, I had to wait overnight for it to dry. But now we're just going to cut it out along the cross lines we've done. It doesn't matter if we get some of the paint out or anything, so yeah. This is your finishing product. I think you guys must have done a pretty amazing job with this. I really am super duper excited to see it with your, with, for, to see your pictures.
Hi boys and girls and welcome back to the chaplain's office. Hope you are enjoying Messy Church so far and that you've taken time to make a great colourful cross. Do you know what? I love the cross craft that Charlotte did with you because it reminds us that Jesus Christ did die on the cross. But through the cross, Jesus brings life, life in abundance to each and every one of us. And I guess that's like all the colours splattered across the cross to remind us of the life that Jesus brings. And I want to talk a little bit about that today. You would have heard in Romans chapter 3 that we all fall short of the glory of God. And we do that in many different ways. We may choose to treat people badly, maybe our parents or our friends. We may choose to do things that are considered selfish, where we're putting ourselves in front of other people. And there's a word for that. It's called sin. And sin has a real horrible power over each and every one of us. Let me give you a little fun example here. Here I've got a lovely glass of water. It's a lovely glass of water and I'm just going to try it here right now. Hmm. You know the amazing thing about water is this, that it brings life. Each and every one of us needs to drink water or something with, with water in it so that our bodies can remain functional. Without water, we'll eventually die. So imagine our lives a little bit like this glass of water here. But the problem is that we all do things that upset God and upset people around us. And sometimes we even do things that hurt ourselves. And as I said earlier, there's a word for that. It's called sin. Now I've got another little prop here. It's a little vial here that says ink on it. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some of that ink and I'm going to put it into the dropper. And here we go, back to that glass of water that I was talking about. And do you know what? Sin is a bit like this. Every time we choose to think about ourselves, every time we choose to hurt other people or people around us, it's like a nasty little ink blot being put in our lives. And do you know what? It's really difficult for me to remove that ink from our lives. We all fall short of the glory of God through the way that we have chosen to behave. None of us are perfect. But there's good news, okay? And I'll share that good news with a moment. But I suspect if I offered this to you as a glass of water to drink, many of you guys will say, Ew, I don't want to drink that. That's, that's disgusting, Mr. Hackman. It'll make me sick, and you're right. There are so many people in the world that don't have access to clean water and if they're not careful, it will make them sick and sometimes even die. And we don't want that to happen. We want life to be brought to us. And that's where the good news of this piece of scripture comes in. Here's another glass here. Let's imagine that Jesus is that glass. And we come along and we say to Jesus, look, listen, I recognise our life isn't perfect. I recognise that we do things that upset you and people around us. I recognise... I." I I need you to bring life into my life. And when we choose to trust Jesus with our life and imagine that this is our life, and you said to Jesus, I want you to take my life, look what happens when we start our relationship with Jesus. You see, Jesus has the ability to clean us right up. Jesus has the ability to change and transform us. So that when God looks at us, he doesn't see a nasty, sticky mess. Instead, he sees us like this, all because we have put our faith and our trust in Jesus. All because we let him change us into the person that he's called us to be. In a moment, we're going to hear Mr. Wright say a final prayer. And then Charlotte's going to come and close our messy church with that great art gallery. But remember this, by putting your faith in Jesus, 
He will make us new. He will bring us life. Life in abundance. Life forever. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Let us pray. Let's bow our heads and put our hands together and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time when we can have fun at church, when we can enjoy the different activities and we can learn about you. <coughs> we can learn about your goodness to us. We can remember you sending Jesus to, to die on the cross for us. And we give thanks and praise you for that. We thank you for the crafts and we pray that you'd be with us throughout the rest of this day. Amen. Welcome back everybody. I hope you enjoyed that because you tried super duper hard for you guys. Um, thank you so much for sending in your artwork. We're going to see that in just a second. Um, but if you want your artwork to be on the screen next week, make sure to send it to this email address on the screen right now. Thank you so much. We really enjoyed looking at all your amazing artwork because it was better than I could ever do. Okay, so enjoy the art gallery.